Hello everyone. It has definitely been a long time since my previous upload, and today I bring you a new mock, something a little bit different. Yet, if you have been watching for quite some time, you may remember something similar, as I have made a mechanical spider mall uh, mock before, and shall I say it was a little bit flimsy, it didn't really meet up to my expectations, so after some comments uh, suggesting that, you know, maybe I should make something on the lines of a remastered version, I have produced this. Now, this is going to be a one of three. This is going to be the majority black, except for two of these little purple pieces, just because they add a little bit of fun texturing, uh, or not texturing, just color. You know, it's a little slash of color, but I think it does a little bit of uh, good to the model, which is mostly just a black mechanical spider. Now, this one does have a few new additions from the other one. This one can stand on four legs, although it is a little bit flimsy, so you do want to be careful to not do too many crazy touches, which is why this is going to be the primarily for display model. There is also two back legs here, which have just been retracted up. You can also retract them down if you so choose, which I will demonstrate in a little bit. We do also have these forward-facing legs, which are do side because you can also uh, take out these little supports here so you can have these claws and then you can also have those claws but they do not touch the ground so it's a little bit of just like you know we've got some aesthetic uh, pipes there and we also have these small talons but if you want to have a little bit more just viv uh, visible clawing and teething you can do that if you so choose these legs a little bit durable you know they do stand up and they are self-supporting which is quite nice the whole body itself is on a slight pivot, so you can move it around slightly. You do want to be a little bit careful because, again, the legs a little bit less stable than I would like them to be, but it's also quite difficult to get something that's a little bit stable while also keeping in black because I don't believe we have any ball joints in black or anything that's just kind of to this scale that would work best. If you have any suggestions, I'm going to leave it out there that I am making this video first without any of the specific instructions, just so that if anybody wants to suggest anything, I can get that in before I release the instructions for this so that, you know, there's a way for this to get a little bit of critique in there before I fully publish it. And also the instructions are going to be free listed on the video that eventually goes out. Uh, acknowledging that the instructions are ready, at least for this specific one. Uh, we also do have some new turrets here, which I have added. These were not included in the original, but I do have these, which are basically symmetrical, except this one has a little bit of bracing on the side. You don't have to use the bracing, but I felt like I had it, might as well do it, right? Uh, so that's that. The front here is a little bit detailed, nothing too crazy, but I felt like it was just... Not a good idea to leave it blank, so I didn't. We have a little bit of wiring here that stretches out to the back. I also did originally have this uh, connected to the top of the turret, so that'll probably be the end design, but you can just do it here if you want to remove the turrets because they're uh, quite easy to remove because they're just, uh, just grab them, pull them off, and you can see that there's a clip there that connects them to the design. Pretty simple design itself. Quite nice, quite portable. You can also just have a minifigure hold it. So, you know, a little bit diverse uh, functionality wise. You do have a little bit of bracing over here on the side with a little bit of engine pieces just to fit with the mechanical theme. It is pretty much sym uh, symmetrical on either side, except for a few differences like a whip being used for a wire here, which would connect to the back of the cannon if you wanted to, or you can just have it here on this bracing. The underside here is un a little bit uh, under detailed, but there wasn't really too much space to do so. And I also tried to compact the underside as much as possible so that it's not really the largest thing. Here I just have the spinning mechanism so that you can move this around with a little bit of a segment for in case you want to have a web shooter or something of that sort, you can. Uh, like I was saying with these back legs, they do extend out and you can use them as support or you can tie them under if you so choose and you can have a little bit of a extension, potentially a little bit of a step ladder if you want to make it so that this is just a mechanical spider that you can ride. So that's a little bit of a neat feature where this can either just be a mechanical spider or you can physically have it uh, be a mech for spider mall here. 
which I think is uh, quite nice. You know, a little bit of uh, variability in what you want this to be, but aside from that, you don't really have too many options. I know this video is a little bit lengthy, but I think uh, I wanted to make this as just like an original coverage video so that eventually when I have the one that's just describing the instructions, it's brief, you can get to the instructions, you can start building. And I think that'll be a little bit of a breath of fresh air, uh, considering this is just like the more in-depth overview of this, even though it's not the most perfect thing. Because there's definitely, if you have like every single piece in your arsenal, you can definitely make something that's a bit more detailed, a little bit more perfect. But I think this turned out quite well. You know, I've been working on this for a good chunk of time, and I think it's finally at a point where it's presentable and a decent representation of what could be possible with a Smiter Mall. Uh, it's probably could be a little bit more stable. Like I said, the legs over here could be a little bit more detailed. You could have a little bit more structural support so that it's a bit more stable. But as far as I'm concerned, this is great. It definitely has the potential to be popular. If people want it to be, if you want to copy this model, go ahead. If you don't want to, totally understandable. It's a definite uh, investment here because there's quite a lot of pieces, some of which are a little bit rare to come by than others. So Understandably, if you do not have the pieces and you just really don't need a spider model, then you really don't need to make use of this model. But I've been talking for long enough. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.